Welcome back everyone to our brand new series titled Bitachon, Developing Real Trust. And I want to thank Torah anytime once again for posting this series. You know, there's a story told in the name of the Chavetz Chaim about a man who was visiting a town for Shabbos and everything seemed like it was going normal until the Shabbos morning davening when he saw that the prosperous people in the shul were all sitting in the front, but yet all the aliyahs were given to these fellows who were in the back who looked rather unkempt and didn't really belong in the shul. And then, when it came time for the rabbi's drasha, the rabbi got up and all he spoke about was the weather, the fact that it was raining the entire past week. He didn't mention a word about the parsha. And then at the end of davening, they all went to the back for a kiddush and they put out this lavish food, but nobody ate anything. It was really weird. And he asked somebody, what's going on over here? And the fellow said, listen, he said, you know, the reason why all the aliyahs were given to those fellows in the back, because those guys were imprisoned unjustly for the last several months. And we've been working so hard as a community to try to get them out. And this is the first Shabbos that they were released. So they got all the aliyahs. And when it came time for the rabbi's drasha, he understood full well that everybody in this community is farmers. And there's been a drought that's been going on for the last number of months over here and everybody's been really down. But it actually rained for the last week. So he wanted to lift everyone's spirits and talk about the rain so that everybody would feel good. And at the end of davening, we often have a community lunch with food that's served and it's incredible. However, once a month, we take all that food and we donate it to the local hospital so other people could benefit as well. I understand that from your perspective, it really doesn't make any sense. But he said, you have to understand that there's a bigger picture going on, more that you don't see. And that idea is really one of the fundamentals when it comes to understanding bitachon, that we don't understand the full picture of what's going on. You know, the Chazanish writes in his Sefer Emunah Bitachon that there's a common misconception when it comes to bitachon. He says that people often think that trust in Hashem means that when I'm in a particular circumstance, when I have a particular challenge that's going on, and there's two outcomes that could happen, one that's good and one that's bad. So I have bitachon trust in Hashem that the good outcome is what's going to come my way. But he says that's a big mistake. He says the reality is that we don't understand the full picture. We don't know what good is and what bad is. We don't know what Hashem has in store. The real definition of bitachon is having trust in Hashem that whatever circumstance I am in right now, whatever situation Hashem puts me in, that is the best situation for me to be in. The first step in growing in our bitachon is recognizing that Hashem put me into the circumstance that I am in right now. And Hashem loves me, Hashem is my father, and He is putting me in this situation because that is what's best for me.